There's something, if you live in a dodgy area, everyone in London now gets Ubers all the time, and I'm aware that it really divides people. I don't know if it's excellent capitalism or awful capitalism, but um, it's kind of pitched to you to make you feel safer. They put a little picture of the Uber driver on there so you know who's coming to pick you up. And uh, the Uber drivers, as a funny prank, have taken the scariest photographs that they can. <laughs> so uh, that must have been a competition between them. Uh, <laughs> So they've done it usually on their phone, from below, <laughs> with eyes like they hate you. <laughs> Which means that when you're thinking like, oh no, it's half two, I can't see any buses and it's a bit scary around here, I could probably get myself an Uber, you press it and it goes, Arnab's on his way. <laughs> mm, shit. Because <laughs> this guy is definitely coming to kill me. <laughs> And there's a little map on there, so you can see where his car is. He's only a minute away, he's just turning around from the knife shop. So, you know you've only got 60 seconds to get away. You think, what shall I do? Shall I flag down a stranger's car and ask to be rescued? What about if that guy is a murderer? At least with Arnab, there's a paper trail. If I go missing, he's the first person they're going to check with. So you think, oh, sure, I'll probably better wait. And then when he arrives, in order, because the angler's taken the photo out, to check that it's him, you have to kind of bend down and look upwards you have to kind of get in the foot well and, and often by then it's too late <laughs> I shouldn't be scaremongering about uber I only actually know one person who says that they were murdered by an uber driver that was my sister and she's lied about this kind of thing before <laughs>